everybody. Um, I'm so glad that you could join me this afternoon. Um, so, uh, what this is going to be is a uh, little introduction. I know a lot of you are new to my page, um, or new to me even. Um, so I'm going to introduce myself and then um, answer some questions uh, for all those burning questions that everybody's had lately. And um, so that's pretty much what the agenda for this is going to be. Um, and I'm going to try really, really hard not to cry, but I make no promises. I've got my Kleenexes set aside here. Um, so with that, uh, let me go ahead and introduce myself. My name is Carol. Um, I am a born and bred Southerner. I am from Montgomery, Alabama. And um, I am uh, one of nine kids, yes, nine kids in my household when I was growing up. Um, my parents were high school sweethearts, so I have that story that I grew up with. Um, I refer to my siblings and I as um, bath towels, his, hers, and ours. We are from a blended marriage. Um, so, yeah, that was a, a, it was a whole thing. Um, anyways, <laughs> um, so, uh, growing up, um, uh, my dad worked for the government, and my mom, for the most part, was a stay-at-home mom, um, which, let me tell you guys, stay-at-home moms, y'all are rock stars. I don't know that I could do it. Um, I have a 14-year-old bonus son, and I would go crazy trying to stay home with him all day. <laughs> um, so we, um, we had a pretty decent childhood, of course. There was always your challenges. Um, but being that there were so many kids, life was a little bit hectic. And people always ask me, so how did you get into the organizational world? Um, and I think it was just sort of a natural progression for me. Um, my parents, uh, we had this joke in our house that if you need something, you have to have three of them so that you can find one. And whenever I grew up and moved out of the house, I just thought that that was part of the norm. That's what you had to do. You had to have three of everything. And after I got married uh, to my first husband, I started to realize that that doesn't really make sense. Um, and I started in learning more about how to properly categorize and organize things so that you can find every single solitary thing and getting rid of clutter and um, it almost became like an obsession for me was making sure that everything was in its place. Um, and I think part of that also came from my dad from the military background. Um, making sure that everything is where it's supposed to be, when it's supposed to be. Um, so that's how I got into organization. And that's what I do now. Um, I am a non-professional organizer. Basically what that means is that I have friends and family that come to me for organizational advice. Um, and I can either advise or I can come in and help you fix all the things organizationally. Um, my mother-in-law is a big fan of me coming and helping her do laundry because I fold her sheets just right so that they fit into this little space the way that they're supposed to. Um, so that's basically my story. Of course, there's always more and there's depth inside of everything. Um, but that's my introduction for right now. Uh, so as for the questions, so one of the questions that I get asked a lot is, um, you say that you have a lot on your plate. How do you have time to have a side business on top of that? And I don't know. 
<laughs> Honestly, I don't know. I have no idea how I have been able to magic time. Um, take a drink here. So, what I have going on in my life right now is I am a full-time wife uh, to my awesome, crazy, supportive husband. Uh, bless his little soul, uh, my little Greek man. Um, so, uh, in, in addition to that, like I mentioned before, I am also a full-time bonus mom. Um, what that means is that um, my husband's son lives with us full-time. Um, and then uh, his mom gets uh, visitations. Uh, so it's like I'm a, a regular mom. Um, so full-time wife, full-time mom. I work full-time uh, for a fast food franchisee. I am the office manager. Um, I go to school full-time. I am currently uh, scheduled to graduate with my bachelor's degree in business administration focusing in inter information technology next March. Uh, and then I will be going on to get my master's degree in information technology and uh, project management uh, probably within six months to a year. And after that, I'm planning to go ahead and get my doctorate in um, what is it called? Executive leadership. So I've got all of that on my plate. Um, <laughs> um, and then I have my side business where what I am basically doing is my whole goal is to help busy women like me organize their lives, uh, their homes, their lives, and everything, and de-stress, declutter your world so that you can find time to have me time. Because I am a big, pers big um, proponent of making sure that women have self-care time. I mean, moms, when was the last time that you just slept in? You took a nap. You went and got a massage. You got your nails done. I know that as moms, we tend to put ourselves last um, and all of our needs are on the back burner. But it's important for all moms, all women everywhere to be able to have some me time to make sure that we are able to take care of ourselves because whenever you take care of yourself then you can help take care of more people after that um, and then I am also um, on top of everything else on top of everything else I am also a part-time caregiver uh, to my mother-in-law and I will talk more about that in a little bit. Um, so, yeah, so needless to say, I have a lot going on in my life, and somehow or another, I'm magic time to make it possible to where I can do something that I enjoy um, with the organization and helping people learn to decompress, de-stress, declutter, and um, make some me time for myself at the same time. Um, the next question I get asked a lot is, um, so what is the deal with the purple butterfly? I don't know if you guys have noticed it, but apparently there's been a lot of people that have. So in uh, a lot of my pictures, I have a little purple butterfly. Um, my purple butterfly was uh, custom designed just for me. The colors were custom designed. The uh, design was made just for me. There's little, you can't see it, um, 
unless you blow it up really, really, really huge. But there's hidden messages inside of my purple butterfly. Um, and that's actually what I call my um, design company that I do whenever I'm making graphics for other people and stuff like that. It's purple butterfly designs. Um, so some of you may know this, some of you may not, but um, it's interesting that I have a purple butterfly because I am the girl that likes black and white and gray and my entire house is black and white and gray. As you can see, this is, it, uh, I am, uh, we, we kind of joke that I am a boho, hippie, goth, sparkle unicorn. <laughs> um, I, I don't fit into any one category. Um, so I have black, my entire house is black, white, and gray, and it has pops of color here and there. Um, and, um, growing up, my favorite animal was a dolphin. And, um, uh, as I grew up a little bit more, I started to get more butterfly things than dolphin things. And in my, I guess, mid-twenties, um, I did some research online trying to figure out why is it that I am gra gravitating to all of these butterfly things, because it just didn't make sense. And um, what the internet says, um, for all of the the dream interpreter dream interpreters and stuff like that, basically, um, butterflies bring messages of positivity and hope. Um, they are a good omen, and they are thought to bring messages from your guardian angel. And I always found that kind of interesting because I always thought of my grandmothers as my guardian angels. Um, so I, I thought that it was very interesting that um, I started in having all these butterfly things that came up in, in my dreams and in my life I started in gravitating to more butterfly things. Um, and the reason that it's purple, um, mostly it's because Originally, it was because um, my biological daughter, her favorite color is purple. Um, so that was the reason, originally. Um, purple is a color of mystery. It's a color of royalty. Um, and butterflies that are purple are exceptionally rare. Um, just like she is. She's one of a kind. <laughs> um, so, um, purple butterflies are also known to bring messages of creativity and thoughtfulness, and they um, are tend to be drawn to people that have those qualities, people that are very imaginative, things like that. Um, so I thought that that was very appropriate for me and for my message in the world. Um, creativity, uh, self-love, uh, imagination, things like that. Uh, that was actually the tagline for my, um, my uh, Purple Butterfly um, designs company was uh, creative, unique, and um, imaginative or thoughtful or something like that. Um, and then the butterfly started in taking on a new message. Um, 2020 was a hard year for everybody. Um, 
luckily I was uh, not affected in the work sense <clears throat> because of um, me working for the restaurant industry um, and in fast food and things like that. Um, for the most part, we fast food workers, restaurant employees, things of that nature are considered essential employees. So, um, I didn't get as affected by the uh, pandemic as most people did. Um, then at Thanksgiving, um, at Thanksgiving, literally the day before Thanksgiving, um, my mother-in-law was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer. Um, and I'm sure that there's people out there saying, well, it's just your mother-in-law. No, it's not just my mother-in-law. She um, is one of my best friends. Um, and my husband is an only child. Um, he has some cousins that live in town. He has an uncle that lives in town. Um, but that's it. So, uh, the whole thing affects me as much as it does him. Um, Additionally, about a year and a half before that, uh, my husband had to bury his father too. Um, so it's really hit close to home for both of us about how short and how precious life is. Um, so uh, the color for pancreatic cancer is purple. Uh, so now my purple butterfly has an additional meaning. Um, that's also why I dyed my hair purple, which it needs to be redone. You guys can't really tell, can't see a lot of it anymore. <laughs> um, but um, my hair is normally very purple um, because I offered to uh, shave my head in unity for whenever she started in to lose her hair from the chemo and um, she told me that she would hurt me in so many painful ways if I cut my hair off, shaved my head in any attempt to form of solidarity. So, uh, purple hair was the next best thing. Um, so that was uh, Thanksgiving. So the holidays sort of sucked, um, in all honesty. Um, and then um, in February, We got worse news that the cancer had spread and that um, if we were really, really, really lucky, uh, she might live 12 to 15 months. And that's been a really hard pill to swallow. Um, <laughs> so the, um, anyway, so the point is, is that I have now had to figure out how to do all of the things and pretend like everything's okay. Um, and have to figure out how to run my own business and help my husband run his business 
and do the work stuff and the school stuff and the wife stuff and the mom stuff and everything else. And let me tell you guys, if I can find time to build my business and to find time somewhere for me to have some carol time, um, even if it's just uh, <laughs> just reading, just for the sake of reading, for an hour, or um, I make a point to try and have a weekly date with my husband every week. Um, so it's just us, so that we can be Carol and Stephen. We don't have to be mom and dad, or a, a son and daughter, or anything else. We can just be us, for us to have that connection. Um, so if I can find time to find me time, in everything else that's going on, I know that you can. Um, so, I told you guys that I was probably gonna cry. <laughs> um, so, that's my story, and that's the answers to the whys. Why am I doing this? Why am I putting myself through making, doing another business? Well, it's because I need the distraction. Um, it helps that I love the company that I am with and <clears throat> that I love the products, that I am a firm believer in the mission of the company itself to, the mission of the company is to uplift women. And I think that that is something that every woman needs is to have someone to uplift you. And, um... And it stands in line with my personal statements about making sure that every woman everywhere has time for themselves to empower yourself. March is a women's month and it is important for you to celebrate yourself every day, not just in March, not just on International Women's Day on March 8th, but every day you have to empower yourself and empower each other, support each other, um, because when one woman succeeds, we all succeed. So I'm going to go ahead and go. i got to fix my face. Um, we've got a lot of stuff going on this afternoon. Uh, so I'm going to leave you guys with that. Um, so I will see you guys next Saturday. Until next time, spread your wings and fly. Bye.